Solweta, and welcome to Zombie Latin. In this episode, we'll be doing a quick review of the declensions. In Latin, there are five declensions, and we have so far learned the first and the second. In the first declension, there are mostly feminine nouns, although there are some masculine nouns as well. For instance, nauta, nautai, masculine, sailor. It's first declension, but masculine. In the second declension, there are two distinct patterns. One pattern is for masculine second declension nouns, and it has two possible nominatives, US and ER nominatives. There is a separate pattern for second declension neuter nouns. A key thing to know about nouns is how to identify a noun's declension. We identify a noun's declension by its genitive singular in the vocab entry. First declension nouns have AE for their genitive singular. For example, puella, puellae, feminine, girl. Second declension nouns are identified by a long I in their genitive singular. For example, campus, campi, masculine, plain, or field. Additionally, noun vocabulary entries always follow the same pattern. They display the nominative singular, the genitive singular, and then the gender and the meaning. For example, puella, ae, feminine, girl, or puer, pueri, masculine, boy. Also, for second declension nouns whose nominatives end in er, we get the stem in an interesting and different way. What we do is we find the stem by dropping the long i from the genitive singular. So for example, in the word agir, agri, masculine, the stem is simply agr after we drop the i. But in puer, pueri, masculine, the stem is P-U-E-R after dropping the I, so it still keeps the E, and we can tell that by looking at the genitive singular. Well, later.